Hey guys, this is Joe with J Phoenix Music, and I wanted to put out a quick video about all the stuff I've been up to. Let's take a look. Thank you so much for checking out my most recent video. As usual, you can find all of the stuff that I'm doing on jphoenixmusic.com. You can follow me on Instagram, jphoenixmusic. Just go to the website, I'll show you all the stuff where you can follow me and all that kind of stuff if you're into it. Okay, super excited to get back into my videos. I know it's been a while and a lot of stuff's happened. But I wanted to share with you some stuff to look forward to and just what I've been up to as far as my different projects. I also wanted to share with you some ideas that I had for the channel. I'd love to see what you guys think. So most recently, Haley and I put out a song through Jay the Second. We did a cover of Massive Attack's Paradise Circus. like how Massive Attack does songs, it's like pop, a little left field. So Haley thought it would be a great idea if we kind of did a song like that uh, because with our music we try and kind of do stuff a little differently. So it was definitely a fun cover to do and you could obviously check that out on Spotify, YouTube, all the different platforms and hope you guys like it. We've also put out a couple songs since my last video, I believe we did Backwards. I don't wanna go on back for corners in the ropes and I got no shame. Is it worth it? Worth It was pretty cool. It was a song where I actually put in some vocals. She could obviously skip that part. It was really cool to do a song with Haley. Uh, obviously, I've been doing you know production uh, with all of our Jay the Second songs, but to put in vocals and help kind of contribute in that way was pretty exciting for me. I've also been working with my friend Dylan, who is one of my friends from high school, Dylan Hermanson. Very killer tenor saxophone player. I definitely check out his page, definitely check out his music. He has this uh, it's an audio sketchbook. He has different volumes that he puts out. I'm actually mastering uh, a lot of the songs on these. To the dealer, like, Yo, what's the deal? When I speak, everybody in the room chill. And it's really fun working with them. Uh, most recently I did, uh, I mixed actually a couple of tracks where it was like live drums, tenor sax, and guitar. And definitely check it out if you just want some like a break from like all the pop music and just some really cool instrumental jazz. Uh, he's definitely really talented and you should definitely give him a listen. I've also been working with one of my friends, Jonathan, who I also met, um, I think actually we did soccer together. And he's a really cool guy, he's a rapper and I did a song with him called The Come Down. I've also been mixing some of his songs most recently, or sorry, mastering. Uh, most recently, I mastered his song Killing Season, and he has two EPs coming out. Uh, it should be this year. I could, I'll could, i post obviously when they come out, but he's a very talented rapper, and it's definitely a pleasure working with him. Lastly, I'm still doing scoring for short films and the like. I work a lot with Anthony Nguyen, who is a very talented cinematographer, director, and I've been really blessed to be a part of a lot of his projects, so I definitely invite you to check out his channel, all of his different videos, and you can go to my website on the filmography or the film section, and you can kind of see all the stuff that I score for him. Uh, a lot of it's really cool, sentimental, and I think you guys like it. So most recently what I figured is obviously J Phoenix Music is the biggest thing, or I mean as far as like kind of what I do, I put things out through J Phoenix Music. But what I recently wanted to do is essentially start releasing music under different names because I love doing a ton of different music and I love doing, you know, whether it's pop or scoring or anything like that, uh, synth pop, rap, hip hop, all that kind of stuff. So I actually am putting out music this year under different names. So one of them is Kid Rock Modernoff, who is obviously. Um, it was inspired by my favorite composer, Rock Modernoff, and what you can expect from this kind of the songs that I put under that name is it's going to be pulling a lot of influence from classical music, uh, either compositional complexity or orchestration from strings, that kind of stuff. I really want that to be a space where I could kind of push the limits of like pop within like the classical music realm. So I have a the first song that I'm going to be putting out is with Jonathan, and what's cool about it is it's going to have like an orchestral intro, and we the pop part's already already finished, but it's going to start with like an orchestral intro. Then it's going to be the radio edit, which is the pop track. And then it's going to have some kind of outro orchestral section. But it's going to, what I'm going to do is it's going to be a part of a three part EP, and it's, which is like a three part piano concerto or symphony. So it's going to have the first movement, which is going to be the first song that I put out with Jonathan. 
Second movement I'm planning on doing with Haley. Third movement I'm thinking about doing it with Diana. Um, but in any case, it's what I like about it is it's gonna be like a three movement classical piece. Um, and the first movement is essentially like this. Um, it's gonna be you know orchestrated with like strings and stuff. But it has a tenor saxophone solo by Dylan who is playing this killer saxophone solo at the end. He sent me a bunch of like ideas and then I spliced them together to make one solo. That's gonna be coming out probably next month because it's my birthday and it's like the birth of like a new kind of thing. So I'm excited to keep you posted with that. Also, I've actually been scoring more. So there's been these competitions that come out through ASCAP and I just figured they could be an opportunity for me to actually compose more because all of this musical journey obviously started with piano because I'm a pianist, but it started with um, me composing in college and kind of learning Sibelius. And what's nice about these competitions is essentially I could compose and really kind of go back to what really hooked me into choosing music as a career and really kind of, what I love about it is I can essentially focus on what brought me into the music scene and producing and all that kind of stuff. And because I love scoring and I love how, you know, with production, like it's cool because there's like an infinite amount of sounds and drums that you could use, but with Classical orchestration is just like the violins and the, the brass and the woodwinds. And for me, like I kind of love the, like those limitations because then you can really push things compositionally and not get caught up in like the sound design and all that kind of stuff. So I put out a symphonic jazz suite in E. And I also put out a symphonic tableau in B. The symphonic tableau in B is actually more like a classical thing, whereas the symphonic jazz suite's obviously a jazz thing. I don't know if I'm going to be putting out those yet, um, but I'm holding on to them essentially. They're actually fully scored for full orchestra, so I think I might submit to maybe some orchestras. It'd be kind of cool to maybe even get one or two of them commissioned, so we'll see. All the things that I'm putting out through my scoring is under my real name, Joseph Marquez. So, like I said, I think um, one big revelation I had since the last video is rather than just being J Phoenix music and doing a little bit here and here, it's like J Phoenix music is like the big channel, and then it's like Kid Rock Modernoff, which has its own focus, and then Latte Noir, which is like its lo fi lounge focus. And then my name Joseph Marquez because I'm a composer and it's like why not put stuff through your real name because I don't think Rachmaninoff would have had a pen name or anything like that. As far as what I wanted to do with this channel is I love obviously posting videos. I, I like for it to be a weekly thing. Um, that's the goal. But what I really want to start doing is getting interviews with people that I do music with and just kind of having more of a space where we can have like long form discussions about music and things like that because I don't know I think you know a lot of about being an artist is like being mysterious and nebulous and that kind of stuff but for me I love sharing my love for music and talking with other people about their love for music and kind of bringing my own kind of identity of like a classical composer and orchestrator into this space where there's not really a lot of composers and it's like a lot of beat makers and obviously we're really talented but to kind of come from it from an angle of being like a pianist and this composer who could not only like who could like do symphonic works for full orchestra, but also can make a beat or a lo-fi track or any kind of really music of any genre. So I'd love to know what you think uh, as far as directions that this channel could go to. Uh, I've, I just wanna really make content that people could get into and kind of see the story behind the music uh, because I think that's the coolest part. I mean, obviously there's like, I don't know how many millions of songs to get uploaded to Spotify, but I love music and I love doing musical things where there's scoring or orchestrating or just producing for artists and I think this like my diverse interest in all these different avenues of music can maybe open up some cool things that a lot of people can enjoy and take part in. Thank you so much for checking out the most thank you so much for checking out the most recent video of my video series. As usual you can go to J Phoenix Music uh, or jphoenixmusic.com and you can follow me on Instagram, J Phoenix Music, all the social media stuff. I love to hear about directions that you think this channel could go in. And in the meantime stay safe, stay healthy and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.